Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you how to solve a multiple channel queuing theory problem very easily. Well, the multiple channel problem is a little bit complex but nothing to fear, I am here to make it easy for you. So let's start. Our question is, a nationalized telephone company has 4 service counters at its service center providing services related to new connection, renewal of connection, bill paying, resolving billing problems etc. The average arrivals are 12 customers per hour in an 8 hours working day. The service time varies from customer to customer but on an average it's 15 minutes per customer. Now calculate average number of customers in the system, average number of customers waiting for the service, average time a customer spends in the system, average waiting time per customer and the probability that a customer has to wait to get the service. So let's proceed to the solution. Given lambda or rate of arrival of customers is 12 customers per hour. Mu or the mean service rate is 4 customers per hour. Given it takes 15 minutes to service a customer in average. And K is given 4 service counters that is number of channels. So first the probability that there is no customer in the system or the service center is idle is given by P0 equals to summation of lower limit n equals to 0 to upper limit k minus 1 into 1 divided by factorial of n into lambda divided by mu to the power n plus 1 divided by factorial of k into lambda divided by mu to the power k into 1 divided by 1 minus lambda divided by k into mu and whole to the power minus 1. Well, the formula looks a little bit complex but I will explain it to you in very easy language. So let's start. So first, let us break down the formula in two parts. First is this part and second is this part. So in the first part, this symbol is called the summation symbol and we have to do it from n equals to 0 to n equals to k minus 1. So k is 4, so 4 minus 1 is 3. So we have to do it for 4 times. We have to do this calculation for 4 times. 1 for n equals to 0, second for n equals to 1, third for n equals to 2 and finally for n equals to 3 that is k minus 1. And we have to do this calculation only once. So let's start. So for n equals to 0, it will become 1 divided by factorial of 0 into lambda is 12, mu is 4, so 12 divided by 4 to the power n which is 0. So factorial of 0 is 1, 1 divided by 1 into 12 by 4 is 3 to the power 0. We know any number to the power 0 becomes 1, so 1 into 1 is 1. Plus, for n equals to 1, 1 divided by factorial of 1 into this value remains same to the power n is 1. So that becomes 1 into 3 to the power 1 that is equal to 3. Plus, n is now 2, 1 divided by factorial of 2 into this value remains same to the power n equals to 2. So factorial of 2 is 2, so 1 by 2 into 3 to the power 2 or 3 square. So 3 square is 9 by 2 equals to 4.5 plus n is now 3 1 divided by factorial of 3 into this value remains same to the power n. So factorial of 3 is 6 1 divided by 6 into 3 cube. 3 cube is 27 divided by 6 equals to 4.5. So this part is complete. And now for this part, k is 4, so 1 by factorial of 4 into this value is 12 by 4 to the power k that is 4 into 1 divided by 1 minus lambda is 12 divided by k is 4 into mu is 4. So that is equals to factorial of 4 is 24, so 1 by 24 into 3 to the power 4 
that is equal to 81 into 1 divided by 1 minus 12 by 16 that is equal to 3 by 4 so 1 divided by 1 minus 3 by 4 and whole to the power minus 1 you will get 13 plus 27 by 2 to the power minus 1 so that is 53 by 2 minus 1 equals to 2 by 53 so that is equals to 0 0.0377 so the probability p0 equals to 0 0.0377 now we have to find out solution of first question so the average number of customers in the system is given by ls equals to lq plus lambda by mu so lq is this plus lambda by mu so the formula is 1 divided by k minus 1 and factor of that into lambda by mu to the power k into lambda into mu divided by k into mu minus lambda square into p0 so k is 4 1 divided by 4 minus 1 that is factorial of 3 into so this value is 3 to the power 4 and for this lambda is 12 into mu is 4 divided by k is 4 mu is 4 minus lambda is 12 and whole square into p0 is 0 0.0377 plus lambda by mu is 12 by 4 that is 3 so simplifying this you will get 4.52 customers so on an average there are 4.52 customers in the system or in the service center now solution of second question average q length is given by lq equals to ls minus lambda by mu so ls we just calculated that is 4.52 minus lambda by mu is 3 so that becomes 1.52 customers so on an average there are 1.52 customers in the queue and solution of question number 3 average time a customer spends in the system is given by ws equals to wq plus 1 divided by mu and wq is lq divided by lambda so lq is 1.52 lambda is 12 so 1.52 divided by 12 plus 1 by mu that is 1 by 4 so that equals to 113 by 300 hours and there is 60 minutes in an hour so that is equal to and solution of question number 4 average time a customer waits for service in the queue that is given by wq equals to lq by lambda so lq is 1.52 lambda is 12 so that is equal to 0 0.126 hours into 60 minutes so that is equal to 7.6 minutes out of this 22.6 minutes in the service center the customer spends 7.6 minutes in the queue and, and finally solution of question number 5 the probability that a customer has to wait is given by p n greater than equals to k so that is equals to this is the formula 1 divided by factorial of k into lambda by mu to the power k into 1 divided by 1 minus lambda divided by k into mu into p0 so we are putting the values 1 divided by factorial of 4 into 12 by 4 to the power 4 into 1 divided by 1 minus 12 divided by 4 into 4 into p0 is 0 0.0377 so that is equals to 0 0.50 that means 1 out of 2 customers or 50% of the customers has to wait for the service so friends this was my simplified video on how to solve a multiple channel problem in giving theory i hope this video was helpful to you i will upload more videos in giving theory so don't forget you subscribe to youtube channel so that when i upload my next video you get an email if you subscribe it take a lot of effort and research for me to make a video like this so please appreciate my effort by liking the video and please share the video by sharing not only will help me but also you can help someone else by sharing the knowledge you can watch my other operation research videos link to them is given in the video description below so thanks for watching see you in my next video and still then stay connected by subscribing